Today, I'm helping you unlock your AT&T phone. No, not with a fingerprint or with a face ID, but unlocking it from the AT&T network. See, your phone is locked to AT&T's network if you bought it from them or from a third party that didn't unlock it before they sold it to you, which means you'll only be able to use your phone with AT&T. So if you want to bring your phone and switch carriers, you won't be able to. And if you want to travel and use a foreign SIM, you won't be able to unlock you unlock it and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. I make videos every Wednesday and Friday and I'd love for you to join along. Now, before you can unlock your phone, you need to meet a few requirements from AT&T. First, your phone must be active on the AT&T network for at least 60 days if you're on an installment plan or six months if you're on a prepaid plan. Now, the second thing you need to meet is that your phone must be fully paid off and your account needs to be in good standing and up to date. You can't have any overdue bills. If you can check those qualifications off, now it's time to unlock your phone. Here's how to unlock your AT&T phone in three simple steps. First, go to att.com slash device unlock and fill out that form. You'll enter your phone number and account information and your phone's IMEI or MEID number. Now you can find this by dialing the number star pound zero six pound on your AT&T phone. Now, once you do that, AT&T will send you an email. Be sure to click on the link sent in the email to confirm that you want your phone unlocked. And the last thing you need to do is wait. But I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. I hate waiting. AT&T can take up to two business days to unlock your phone. Now, what do you even do with an unlocked phone? Well, with an unlocked phone, you can travel to other countries and use a foreign SIM card. You can switch carriers and unlocking it makes it easier to sell. I mean, technically you could sell it without unlocking it, but that's just a crappy thing to do to someone. And just keep in mind that not all phones will work with each carrier. Before you switch, make sure you go to your preferred future carrier and use their compatibility checker to see if your phone is compatible. Now, generally speaking though, AT&T phones work just fine with T-Mobile and most newer phones in the last few years or so work across all four major carriers. Now, there is an exception to all of this if you're in the military, unlocking your AT&T phone is a little bit more simple. If your account payments are up to date and if you can show proof of deployment, AT&T will unlock your phone without you fully paying it off first. If unlocking your phone from the network is tedious and annoying to you, you can always buy your next cell phone straight from the manufacturer. Now those phones come unlocked and will work with whichever carrier you want to go to. However, buying directly from the manufacturer is helpful in that regard, but buying from individual carriers like AT&T often gets you better prices and deals. If you have any questions about unlocking your AT&T phone, let me know in the comments below. I'm Sherry Riggs. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV. First, your phone must be active on the most loudest motorcycle I've heard in my entire life.